so anyway, here's Jordan Pearson crying about Elliot Page. This man really needs a new routine. Yeah. Like, he's been taking this show on the road for way too long. We need some Bruh. new material from Jordan. Dude. Twitter's a f***ing rat hole. The mob. So here's Jordan crying over uh, Elliot Page. You're so mean to Ellen Page, and I think, well, you know, Ellen Page is a star, and she advertised her transformation and made the claim that this has revolutionized her life, and then she displayed her new body in a public forum and got 1.7 million Instagram. How dare! He's How so dare obsessed he with social his media, dude. Details about his life. <laughs> I don't get 1.7 million likes. I've been shadow banned. I get my algorithms crushed. Dude, he's so fucking angry that that Elliot's clouded up and he's not. Well, tell me, while you were so mean to Ellen Page, and I think, well, you know. By the way, he's still being a dit, like a total fucking douche by dead naming. Of course. Like, there's no need for that. It's just rude. It's just like super rude. Like you're trying to make a point. God, he's so pathetic. He's such a loser. Oh, Ellen Page. Is a star you know it's a rat hole? His grandma's pubes. Let's go. He literally said it in his dream. Play it, Zach. I dreamed I saw my maternal grandmother sitting by the bank of a swimming pool. Keep going. Play the whole thing. Her genital region was exposed dimly. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Hold on one sec. Yeah, just don't play. be shy. Don't you gotta shy. pull. You gotta pull the whole thing. I have it. Hold on. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta pull. The here we go. Here we go. I saw my maternal grandmother sitting by the bank of a swimming pool, which was also a river. Her genital region was exposed dimly. It had the appearance of a thick mat of hair. She was stroking herself absentmindedly. <laughs> she walked over to me with a handful of pubic hair compacted into something resembling a large artist's paintbrush. She pushed this at my face. I raised my arm several times to deflect her hand. Finally, unwilling to hurt her or interfere with her any further, I let her have her way. Yeah, and by the way, if she stroked my face with the brush gently and said, like a child, It's a dream. That he's detailing. It, it, just in case people think that's a deep <laughs> fake, or that is actually an excerpt from his. That's from, from his, book. his book. Yeah. Yep. So I'm saying the only rat hole here is your grandma's pubes, buddy. I got one about him uh, throwing a kid. Sure, I'd love to hear it. I remember taking my daughter to the playground once when she was about two. A particularly provocative little monster of about the same age was standing above her pause on it. the same bar. Pause, she pause, was it, pause it. You're talking about a two-year-old. Yes. Bro. <laughs> Like, holy fuck. <laughs> You're talking about a two-year-old child. A, per a fucking provocative little monster demon. Yeah. <laughs> he hit the violence on that monster. Holy shit, bro. <laughs> For real. This little fucking sinner deserves to go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, go ahead. I watched him move towards her. Our eyes locked. He slowly and deliberately stepped on her hands with increasing force over and over as he stared me down. He knew pause exactly. it, pause it, pause it. As someone who, with a three-year-old, no two-year-old's doing that, period. Like, staring him down, being like, this, I'm looking at you, bitch. Do something about it. Like, this is a two-year-old, man. They, like, literally just learned to walk. Do you understand how young that is? This two-year-old deserves to be tried as an adult. He stepped on my daughter's hand. And so I f kicked the shit out of him, <laughs> and I punched him in the stomach. The air came out of his lungs, and I spit on his face. Go ahead. He knew exactly what he was doing. Up yours, daddy-o. That was his philosophy. <laughs> uh -oh. He'd already concluded that adults were contemptible, and that he could safely defy them. Too bad, then, that he was destined to become one. That was the hopeless future his parents had saddled him with. To his great and salutary shock, I picked him bodily off the playground structure and threw him 30 feet down the field. 30 feet? Wait, hold on. I'm trying huh? to find... Here, I'm trying to find a picture of a... <laughs> Dumbass child. <laughs> Fucking Chuck did that. This is a two-year-old. 
What a monster. <laughs> to his great it? and salutary shark. <laughs> he did? Bodily off yeah, the plate. I fucked him up. 30 monster. feet down the field. We, 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 we wrapped in Mortal Kombat. <laughs> I choked him out. Body slammed him. This is a two-year-old, you guys. Yep. Who well, stared him down. down the field. This? What, love? He threw a shot 30 no, I, feet. Yeah, go back, go back, go back. Let me hear that again. Bad then, was he was a, destined to become one. He just, he just, that was the, I think he just committed like a really serious crime. <laughs> hopeless future his parents yeah. had saddled him with. <laughs> to his great and salutary shock, I picked him bodily off the playground structure and threw him 30 feet down the field. <laughs> so do, do you not have the rest of this? Feet. Do you not have the no, rest of this, Zach? That's all I have. Okay. I had told Zach to pull this a long time ago because I was familiar. This is another excerpt from the same book as the uh, Grandma's Pew book? thing. How, His, it's up. the book. No, it's the 12 Rules for Life. What? Yeah. Both of those quotes are from 12 Rules for Life. I think they're from Maps of Meaning. Which mm, was the kid, the uh, kid one is for years. sure from 12, 12 years. years. Uh, maybe, maybe the Grandma one is from his other book, but the Tossing the Kid. And um, yeah, that didn't happen right I told Zach to cut it there, but like shortly after, he's like, I didn't actually do that, but I imagined it in great detail. <laughs> I fantasized about beating the fucking yeah. shit out of this two year old. That is choking the. Choking him to death. That is the thrust of the I excerpt. Did not. Is him sitting at a park with his daughter fantasizing about <laughs> fucking up two year old. <laughs> and again, I just need to emphasize to you guys who don't have spent a lot of time around young kids, this is what a two year old looks like. <laughs> Like, I just want to throw them 30 feet down the field. An innocent, harmless, beautiful creature. Like, you know what I mean? This is not... There's a bit is, of Hitler in everyone. There, <laughs> <laughs> I saw a little bit of Hitler in the two-year-old. It made me want to throw him 30 feet. <laughs> All right. Let's do... Aunt Jordan's so good. He's so easy, man. He's Come like to join us, and together we'll end women. <laughs> Yeah, okay, let's uh, let's go doctor. Let's cry more about about Elliot Page Tell me while you were so mean to Ellen Page and I think well, you know Ellen Page wait Does this have badass music in the back? Yeah, yeah, whoa Wait, is this like a manosphere viral TikTok? Yeah. Well, it's from a page called Overflowing Wisdom on this is, TikTok. No, so. this is uh, this is a YouTube short. The only thing overflowing oh, um, is my grandma's pubes. On YouTube, I grab them in my hand like a paintbrush. <laughs> Overflowing wisdom. Are you looking? For, yeah, I want to read the comments on this. Uh, here it is. Overflowing wisdom. Here's the channel. It's like all Jordan Peterson stuff. So awesome. Shit has 300,000 well, hey, subscribers. I'll tell you how to find it. Just go to shorts or video. Go to shorts and just sort by most viewed. It's probably going to be one of his top. I got it. It's, it. Yeah, it's in there. I got it. Do it? you have your passports? Did you get your shot? Wait. I got it. Dan, sort by popular. I just want to see what's up Wait. there. Oh, I got it. Right there. Do you have your passports? Did you get your shots? Girl, would you like to come back with Rob to America? Twitter's a rap hole. Hi! America. America. Elon Musk. Do, Do you have your passport? Hi! Did you get your shots? Girl, would you like to come back with Rob to America? America. America. The beautiful. Do you have your passports? Did you get your shots? Girl, would you love that we are to America? My grandmother's pews. To America! Thirty feet down the field. <laughs> R. Kelly, ladies and gentlemen. Do you want to come back me with me to prison for a conjugal visit? That's all he gets now, man. Will it be you? <laughs> oh, will it be you? Yeah. Oh, will it be one of you? This is another recruiting oh, concert he did, right? Please, please. 
good boy. And you can come home with me. Sheesh. No. You can play house with me. You will be the mother and I will be the daddy. I'll be your dad, Rod. Dude, he's so wild. Oh my god. People are saying Jess is doing impossible things. <laughs> Jess is a magician. Dude, Ian's the green right. screen goat. I just gotta say that. What, uh, I'm always amazed by Ian's green screen skills. Well, I don't think Ethan saw any of that because oh, it was, okay. uh, oh, what? had no? something up. Oh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay. Alright. Yeah, so here we found the video uh, from Overflowing Wisdom. And by the way, just out of curiosity, I'm gonna go to their YouTube page and if you go to shorts and sort by popular it's all This one is what's up with these people? I gotta watch all these Jordan Peterson destroys feminist. What year is it? Jordan Peterson, it's all Jordan Peterson destroying women. Look at this. What year is it? <laughs> that's like that's from 2017 These might be old. It, well, no, they're short. Oh, no, short. Yeah, you're right. They can't be that old. They what? just well, no, Here you can find out the page it was post. or let's see. It, it could also be repurposed content, because I've done that before for some brands. Yeah, they're just... It's repurposed for sure, but it's just funny that um, people are still consuming this shit. Because this video has 500,000 likes, so it's got to have a lot of views, but here it is. Ellen Page, and I think... Well, you know, Ellen Page is a star, and she advertised her transformation and made the claim that this has revolutionized her life. And then she displayed her new body in a public forum and got 1.7 million Instagram likes for it and probably enticed, well, let's say one young girl who's confused into becoming sterile, which is one too many for me, but it could be as- What is he talking about sterile? He's misdefining what it means to be trans. I don't think that's, like, the objective. Or, well, who cares? Who gives a fuck, bro? As many as also, what, it's, like, it's like the consent meme that... again. What, love? It's like the consent meme. Did you forget to ask somebody? Jordan forget Peterson does not yeah. approve. Yeah. Yeah, did we forget to consult like, with, uh... Fucking dumbass. It's like, uh, Dr. Oz said. I think abortion should be between the man, woman, and the local, the local politicians. Right. Thousand, <laughs> and I have my tendency to feel a hell of a lot more sorry for a set of confused, isolated, and lonely, pubescent girls who have no one to love them enough to. Help I could take them care of that. His, his theory is that women only become trans when they're pathetic and lonely, and nobody there to love them. Sorry. <laughs> That's so crazy, dude. Sorry. And he starts crying. Who they are, then I do for one overprivileged and unfortunately confused narcissistic Hollywood star. People <laughs> tell me. Okay, so God. let's go to the comments and see what's the result of this. He gets me every time he can't hold back tears. I guess he gets you a lot. Yep. Yeah. Sorry. I love how Jordan gets emotional when it comes to something he really cares about, like hating trans people. <laughs> I'm very passionate. Just admire the passion. Every time he gets choked up and is able to swallow his emotions always make me feel like at least one person will care. Daddy Jordan cares. <laughs> POV, cares you're looking you for mean? sane comments, exactly. He loves the people, the one who are downtrodden and taken advantage of. He has so much love and compassion for them and is insanely angry at the people in charge who push it. <laughs> I love that trans people have absolutely no agency, none. It's a conspiracy. Perhaps a Jewish conspiracy. I was going to say. The Jews? The Jews. Thank you to Derek Runtz. Yo. Says, check out Starkiller, Young Fika, Dan, Ian, Sam, Lena, Cam, Olivia, and Zach Lewis live at the Troubadour. Let's go, baby! Sixteen. Yeah, I gotta give a special shout out to Derek Runtz. He's he's a Saudi prince as well. We love him. Derek Runtz. Excuse me. 
I will always love how JP can become overwhelmed by emotions in the middle of a presentation and still deliver so much impact. Guys, he's unstable. What are you talking about? <laughs> I love about? that he can't, he can't get, get through, through a, a paragraph without crying. Yeah, I love that about him. Well, that's just overflowing wisdom, dude. It's just, yeah, it's overflowing out of his tear ducts. Yeah. <laughs> that's the pressure relief. Too much it's, wisdom. It, it, it sounds like Jordan's the real victim of... Uh, of uh, gender reassignment. He is the real victim, and <laughs> and it, thank God he... There's somebody like him out there looking out for the downtrodden, the underprivileged, the uh, rejects rejects of society. Gamers. The Joker You're church. just confused. <laughs> You're just confused because nobody loves you. You're alone and a loser. Baby sad. If nobody anyway. was looking out for the 16 to 25 year old white guys <laughs> playing Call of Duty, who Yo, would be looking out for them? Well, here's the most popular one, so I'm actually curious. What's up with these people? Jordan Pearson, 12 million views. This one, the trans one, had 7 million, by the way. Aren't the Chinese threatening Taiwan at the moment? What are we going to do without <laughs> chips? I don't know what these people what are What are we going to do without chips? What are we going to do without <laughs> chips? <laughs> Potato chip? Oh, I gotta pull that. That's gonna come in handy, man. Have you ever had... <laughs> have you ever had salt and vinegar chips? <laughs> well, we Kiss do. them goodbye, bucko. <laughs> it's nothing but plain <laughs> lays from now on if the woke moralists get their way. Have you heard, tasted chips made of in America? They're god-awful. <laughs> they all made of corn. Sun chips make me sick. Gonna be eating nothing but Fritos, bucko. <laughs> With no bean dip. You ever had Fritos chili cheese flavor? It's an abomination. <laughs> Kiss barbecue goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's such a fucking idiot. Well, Aren't the Chinese ass. threatening Taiwan at the moment? I know where this is going. He's defending Russia. He's about to defend Russia. It's got to be. What are we going to do without chips? I don't know what these people are thinking. What are the uh, environmentalists thinking? We love the planet. It's like, do you? We love the poor. Do you? Okay, let's pit the planet against the poor. Who wins? The planet. <laughs> oh. Wait, what? I don't think that's a war that needs to happen. Why are we pitting the planet against the poor? What does that mean, Jordan? Okay, well, you like poor people? Well, prove it. Because I'm put pitting the planet. Planet! You're gonna have Goku just toss the whole fucking planet <laughs> at a stadium full of environmentalists. Who wins now? <laughs> If you like poor people so much, then why, why, uh, why are they poor? Give him your money. Okay, you don't love the poor that much. How do did you, you prove that? How did you prove that? Planet? Or do you hate capitalism? Let's pit those two things against each other. Oh, well, it turns out we actually hate capitalism. How can we tell? Because you're willing to break it. And you know what's going to happen. So what's going to happen in Sri Lanka with these 20 million people who now have nothing to eat? Bro, he is fucking... Are they going to eat all the animals? Are they going to burn all the firewood? They're stockpiling fire... Bro, I don't think anyone is telling the starving people of Sri Lanka... <laughs> what? I don't think anyone's telling them they need to be more environmental friendly. I think that's a luxury. I think we'd all agree of developed uh, countries. He's living in a fantasy world, bro. He's setting up, like, the craziest straw man arguments to look yeah. smart. Are you seriously telling the people of Sri Lanka to grow trees? They're starving. <laughs> they can't just eat chips. They'd eat the chips if they could. We need to send more sun chips to Sri Lanka. <laughs> Are we in Germany? It's like, so is your environmental globalist utopia? going to kill the poor and destroy the planet and that's okay because we'll wipe out capitalism it's like aren't the chinese what the fuck did he just say wow straight up word sound. overflowing wisdom coming out of this man it's just every poor every it's coming out of his dick but, it's coming out of his ears but can you tell me why it has 12 million views like why do people respond it's the to music this? bro i swear to god he could have said anything <laughs> and they just slapped that music like, on damn, and some fucking that random 25 we gotta start yeah you're right love that music that's uh music more dude love. that's our most liked video on tiktok that's like 9 million views like, wait which one is, that uses that music you, you watched like a andrew tate thing and i made an edit on it <laughs> oh yeah maybe we do more please love. yeah
<laughs> okay, I'll get on it. Should just make a video.